Hello, and welcome to Movie Night Movie Review. Vincent's pick tonight is They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Sidney Pollock directed this movie from 1969. Uh, it's basically about a character named Robert, played by Michael Sarazen, who uh, is homeless during the Depression. And uh, he happens to wander onto a uh, contest that's going on. It's, a, it's basically a dance marathon. And the winners, the winning couples, will get uh, $1,500, which is gigantic money back then. That's about uh, three years worth of an average wage, I would say, back then in the 1930s. The big star of the movie is Jane Fonda, who plays Gloria. Um, I'm not that big of a fan of Jane Fonda, but uh, you know, she, I, I admire her as an actress, and uh, she did a wonderful job in this movie. And the aforementioned Michael Zarrison is in this. Uh, Gig Young, who plays uh, Rocky, who's the MC of this dance marathon. Susanna York uh, stars in this as well. She plays uh, an aspiring actress who's sort of a Gene Harlow kind of a clone. I actually didn't recognize Susanna York in this movie at first. She really looks different and much younger than I normally have seen her. But, uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with her, though, she played uh, Superman's mother in Superman the movie, so that may uh, ring a bell for some of you. Now, as I stated earlier, this is a dance marathon, so it's going to go on for weeks until the last couple is left standing and they win the $1,500. And a lot of them are hoping to be discovered because this whole thing takes place in California. So they're hoping to be discovered by some uh, influential people, Hollywood types and agents and whatnot. So they're all uh, playing up to the audience as much as possible. And you really get to know the couples and their trials and tribulations and the reasons that they're there. And many of them are there just because they're desperate. It's turned into depression and they got no hope. So... And you're really hoping that the, the ringleader here, the MC, uh, Rocky, is on the level with this whole thing. And uh, you just can't help but get a bad feeling, though, right from the get-go about this guy. Because, uh, yeah, he seems to be surrounding himself with uh, criminal types and by the looks of them. And uh, you're really hoping that this whole thing works out for somebody in the end. But uh, you get this bad feeling that he might end up being a sleaze bag. So this is a very grueling movie to watch. And I mean that in the best way. Something that occurs several times in this marathon is they they already have been dancing for you know a week or more and they're very exhausted and they bring out a uh, a foot race where the couples have to tie themselves to each other and the last three couples are eliminated so it's just a way of whittling out the uh, the pack a little bit here and it is one of the most grueling sequences I've seen and it happens several times in this movie and it, it's rough to see and there's even a moment where uh, a character apparently dies <laughs> and is dragged across the finish line so it's uh, it's very rough <laughs> Now, I don't want to give away too many plot points, but uh, once again, the word sleazebag will pop up again <laughs> as you're watching this movie, and you'll see what I mean if you watch it. I mentioned Susanna York earlier. Um, <clears throat> her story arc in this is kind of touching, actually, because uh, you get to see what happens to people when they're brought to their physical and mental limits, and uh, she really uh, comes apart as a person here and falls all the pieces and uh, it's a tough sequence to watch or kind of come apart at the seams in this movie so that's why I, I mentioned her earlier but uh, you can watch for that this is one of those movies that used to play on the uh, the late late show and uh, I don't want to give too much more away of the movie but uh, this is a really terrific movie um, it's a kind of story that really sucks you in it is just sad to see the uh, desperate situations that the characters are in, 
some of these couples have no hope it's the depression and this is their whole hope is to win this this contest and this fifteen hundred dollars and it looks like you know they put their hopes in a MC who may or may not be on the level and uh, could be a, a sleaze bag so like I've said and uh, so it's interesting to see how this plays out so I highly recommend the movie it's certainly a really good uh, popcorn cruncher if nothing else and if you've never seen it before I think you'll you'll find it very enjoyable thank you